am Emily and today we will be assembling the Waze 3-in-1 Crib. Make sure you have all the right pieces and hardware and if anything is missing, please contact Consumer Care. One way to make sure you are working with the right hardware is to compare them to the illustrations in the instructions. Like that. First step, we will attach the post to the crib ends. And for this, you will need 12 50 millimeter bolts and your provided Allen wrench. If you are working on this alone, it is easier to work on the floor. Make sure to use the short end of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolts. That's it. Second step, we will attach the crib ends to one side of the crib. And for this, you will need four 90 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the labels as guidance. Please make sure to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Make sure to use the short end of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolts. Like that. Third step, we are going to attach the mattress support. And for this, you will need four 55 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, and the provided Allen wrench. Start with the highest position for your newborn and move downward as your child grows. Make sure that the barrel nut is inserted sideways so that the bolt can go through. Make sure to use the short end of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolts.
Fourth step, we will cover all the holes we are not using. And for this, you will need eight 15 millimeter bolts, four cap nuts, and your provided Allen wrench. Like that. Final step, we will attach the last side to the crib. And for this, you will need four 90 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, and the provided Allen wrench. Make sure to insert the barrel nut sideways so that the bolt can go through. Don't forget to use the short end of the Allen wrench to really tighten the bolts. And that's it. Before using your crib, please make sure that all the bolts in the pre-assembled mattress support are tight. Please keep your instructions in a safe place. You will need them later. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Waves 3-in-1 crib. Now we are going to convert the crib into a day bed. Now that your child is grown, the mattress support should be at the lowest position. First, we will remove one of the sides from the crib. And for this, all you need is your Allen wrench. That's it. Now we will attach the conversion rail. And for this, you will need two metal pins, two 90 millimeter bolts, two barrel nuts, and the provided Allen wrench. First, we start by detaching one of the mattress support corners. Now we will position the conversion rail. Now we will reattach the mattress support corner. Okay. 
To complete the conversion, we are going to use the nuts and bolts to secure the rail. Congratulations, now you have a daybed.